How can sound escape when it cannot be understood? All you hear is vibration. You must refer to the object in question to collect this data. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 are excellent examples of the important role space probes play in expanding our understanding of the universe. These studies provide real data from the most distant parts of the solar system, despite the fact that we will not be able to observe these areas for several years. However, some of the data Voyager 1 brought back from space was asterisk NASA engineers mistaken. What different signals will Voyager 1 send? Is there any cause for concern? Join us as we explore how Voyager 1 encountered an unknown force in space. For nearly 45 years, Voyager's missions have been critical to space exploration, providing some of the first and most important insights into the true nature of the universe. NASA's twin Voyager spacecraft are a time capsule for generations, each with an 8-track tape recorder for data storage and 3 million times less memory than a modern cell phone. They transfer data 38,000 times slower than a 5G internet connection. Despite this, these pioneers of space exploration are still working. Our Sun and its planets travel into a region called interstellar space that has not been explored by other spacecraft. By combining data from previous missions with observations made by the Voyager probes, scientists are getting a more complete picture of our solar system and the interaction between the heliosphere and interstellar space. No other spacecraft has changed our understanding of the Sun and its effects on the environment like Voyager. Each Voyager spacecraft has a golden record which is a type of human messenger. The disc includes music, tributes in different languages, photos of life on Earth and basic science diagrams of life that might encounter the spacecraft. The protected gold coating is designed to keep data in place for over a billion years. Scientists have been puzzled by the strength and direction of the interstellar magnetic field, and new information has sparked debate about the nature and behavior of the heliosphere, the Sun's magnetic field. Originally thought to resemble a comet, the heliosphere may be more spherical than previously thought. It is not known whether the size of the heliosphere changes with the solar cycle or whether it remains mostly constant, but the Voyager spacecraft provided clues to help scientists investigate the situation. Astronomers begin with the interstellar phase and end with the solar wind, a stream of charged particles from the Sun. This plasma pushes out the cool, dense interstellar plasma, like sand that stirs water in a river. Just as the upper tropopause separates the Earth's atmosphere from space, the heliosphere is surrounded by a region called the heliopause, the region where the solar wind slows down and interact with the interstellar medium. At the time of Voyager's launch, the location of the heliopause was unknown. Some think it will be as close as Jupiter, which is only five times farther from Earth than the Sun. However, as the spacecraft entered deep space, the estimate of the heliopause distance increased. Not Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, or Neptune, no one knew for sure where or when Voyager would enter interstellar space. Voyager began collecting signals of the heliopause after its encounter with Neptune in July 1992. The spacecraft detected strong radio signals at frequencies between 2 and 3 kHz. Some scientists believe that these radio waves were caused by a solar flare that occurred more than a year ago. The plasma of these flares reaches the heliopause causing the excitation of electrons and the emission of radio waves. The footprint is much denser than the outer heliosphere, although it appears to be a near-perfect vacuum by Earth standards. By measuring the speed of objects in the Sun and the time it takes to reach the heliopause, researchers calculate the distance to the Sun. The average distance between the Sun and the Earth is one asterisk astronomical unit, AU, asterisk and the distance to the heliopause is between 116 and 177 Australian dollars. In asterisk 25. August 2012, at a distance of 121.6 AUs, Voyager 1 passed the heliopause. There are several indications that Voyager 1 has entered interstellar space. For example, the Sun's solar wind particles begin to disappear, possibly indicating that the spacecraft has completely exited the heliosphere. At the same time, the atmospheric rays from outside the solar system, partially blocked by the heliosphere,
become stronger. However, some researchers are skeptical of this evidence for two reasons. First, Voyager 1's plasma instrument malfunctioned, failing to record the expected increase in particle density as it exited the planet. Second, the magnetic field outside the heliosphere was thought to be in a different direction than in the interior, but this change was not realized. The definition of the internal and external magnetic fields is still unclear. Despite these uncertainties, solar activity in early 2012 contributed to Voyager's success. Solar storms erupted and a year later the Voyager 1 plasma suddenly went through. This excited the plasma electrons, producing radio waves that confirmed Voyager's journey into interstellar space. The spacecraft detected these radio waves, and the frequency indicated that Voyager had entered a very large region. In 2018, Voyager 2 completed its heliopause pass on November 5th. There are currently no questions about the category. The spacecraft's plasma instrument was operated with the ability to monitor the increase in particle density caused by protons, electrons and other charged particles that hit it. It also measured temperatures between 30, 000 and 50,000 K, above the temperature of the surrounding interstellar medium. The plasma may have been compressed as it entered the heliosphere, increasing its temperature. Like Voyager 1, Voyager 2 observed a weakening of the solar wind and an increase in solar radiation. But the magnetic field has not yet reversed direction, confirming that the result has been found. Voyagers 1 and 2 will continue to move around the planet, regardless of how it looks. Since the spacecraft signals travel at the speed of the moon, it takes more than 22 hours to reach Earth. When Pioneer 10 lands in late 2023, Voyager 2 will have traveled to 129 Australian dollars, surpassing it as the second farthest spacecraft from Earth. The two Voyagers are traveling in opposite directions, farther from Earth than the other spacecraft. Voyager 1 detected a whispering sound associated with waves found in the thin air in the near interstellar space, scientists said. As the plutonium that powers the Voyagers runs out, the spacecraft loses heat and loses power. In return, NASA said the group shut down systems, including some that were initially thought to be malicious. These systems include a heater that protects the equipment that is still working against extreme cold in the room. Interestingly, the five devices that have stopped heating since star 2019 star are still working. NASA scientists are skeptical that the Voyagers will continue to operate at temperatures far below what they were designed to withstand. Additionally, Voyager 1's Attitude Communication and Control System, AACS, which keeps the probe's antenna grounded, was operational last year. So far, the inspection is working fine and there are no known intrusions. Due to computer malfunctions that occurred years ago, the survey began sending incorrect phone calls, destroying valid data in the process. The extension of the site inspection was also lost. This raises the question of whether it is time to retire one of NASA's oldest space probes. Recently, NASA experts were able to solve the problem by instructing the system to return to its previous computer. The agency says the failure will not affect the long-term viability of the mission. Meanwhile, some scientists have begun to explore the possibility of developing a replacement for the Voyagers. However, no one knows for sure how long these two spacecraft will last. It needs to be warm enough to keep the antennas grounded so the fuel doesn't freeze. Plutonium is responsible for producing Voyager's heat, but as it decays, it becomes less powerful each year. Thanks for watching another episode. While you're still here, click on the video on the screen for more spy information.